guys? So I've been releasing a lot of content recently. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Um, I just recently released my review of Malignant, which is one of my favorite horror movies I've seen in a very long time. Uh, I, you guys should check that out. Just watch the movie first. Promise, it's wonderful. Uh, but today I want to talk about a movie that maybe not a lot of people have heard of called Superhost. Before I get into the review, I just want to talk a little bit about Shudder. Um, obviously, I'm not paid by Shudder. I don't get any promotional material from them. Shudder, I'm always down though. Uh, Shudder is a great streaming service if you really like horror movies. And one of the things I really like about Shudder is they give a lot of directors the opportunity to put forth their material and showcase their talent to a lot of people who big budget studios might not be giving the opportunity to. So I love watching new content on Shudder just for that reason alone. Being someone who's in film school who wants to make a living making my own creative content, it's great to see a platform that cares about artists, wants to give them the ability to put forth their material in a space that a lot of people can see it. Highly recommend checking out Shutter. I know they do like free trial subscriptions all the time. It's definitely worth it. I found a lot of gems on there that I wouldn't have otherwise seen if I wouldn't have had Shutter. So if you're a horror fan, even just try it out in the month of October. It's it's a blast. I, it's definitely worth it. They add a lot of great classics. They have one of my all-time favorites on there right now, Carnival of Souls, which I would highly recommend. Let's get in to the review. So Superhost follows Claire and Teddy who are a couple that are vlo travel vloggers and essentially what they do is they go place to place and rate Airbnbs and they shoot videos on them. They're kind of eccentric, a little over the top. Find this Airbnb that's got all these incredible reviews that's in this you know, completely secluded location. And they meet Becca, who is a pretty eccentric, over the top, wild person who's their super host of their stay. And she's a little bit much, and she's constantly checking in and pestering, where at first they just think, you know, she wants to get a good review, but something might be a little off about Rebecca. Like I was talking about before, movies like Superhost, uh, I really like Shudder because I get to check out a lot of material from directors I haven't heard of. Uh, the director of this movie, Brandon Christensen, I haven't seen any of his other work. I know he has another movie on Shudder. found this movie to be really entertaining. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It had nice atmosphere. It was shot really well. Good performances. Nice cameo appearance from none other than the Barbara Crampton. Yeah, Superhost has a seemingly kind of hokey premise. You've got this like mask of going to an Airbnb, but you still have the whole cabin in the woods vibe. It's no like Sam Raimi, Evil Dead, beat to shit. Uh, ugly looking cabin in the woods, but you do have this whole inclusion of media influencers and like YouTube personas, and that's kind of fun to watch. And it's a nice little spin on a typically cliched horror plot. I want to talk about are the performances. I really like Osric Chow as in. Supernatural, and I really liked his whole run through the Supernatural TV series. I think that he's really good in this movie. Sarah Canning, who plays his wife Claire, also does a really nice job. Both of them are great. The standout performance of this movie is Grace Phipps, who plays Rebecca, who just gives an absolutely over-the-top, fantastic performance. The, you know, you have this very over-the-top host who seems to be butting their head in a little too much. You can kind of get a sense of where the movie's gonna go, but nothing really prepares you for just how wild her performance is. Really does the a good job of giving like the well-intentioned look, but also like she's always got this really like dead behind the eyes expression to where she's being nice, but you always feel like there's something going on inside of her that you don't really want to know what it is, and by the third act, it really pays off. Said nice drop in uh, cameo from Barbara Crampton. I love Barbara Crampton. She is an icon. Um, I love that she's sticking so close to the horror community and the horror genre. I think she gives awesome performances. Uh, another great movie on Shutter if you haven't seen it. Jacob's Wife, also Barbara Crampton, lead character. She's fucking phenomenal in it. Worth watching just for her performance alone. Yeah, Superhost. It's a fun time. I'm not going to talk too much about plot points because you should just jump in and watch it. But yeah, the sort of of spiraling nature of these two people trying to just make a career on YouTube 
being social media influencers, the difficulties that come with this type of a profession. Obviously, I make these videos for fun. It's not a career for me, I enjoy it, but it would be a difficult lifestyle to do it full time and to constantly put out content that's engaging and fun for people. So that's kind of a nice little twist that I like to the movie. The third act is really bonkers. Uh, if I had any problems with the movie, there's some dead space about it where it's like an hour and a half runtime. There's some dialogue sequences that are a little hokey. Uh, you have like, you see this husband and wife are kind of back and forth. Osric Chow's character is planning on proposing to, uh, to his girlfriend and she's kind of so invested in this that at times something like that comes up or he's trying to plan something romantic something comes in the way and sometimes it really worked for me other times it came across as a little cheesy but I don't feel like that's enough to detract from how much fun of a watch it was. Have you seen Superhost yet? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. As always if you like my content hit the subscribe button it helps me out lets me know you guys that want me to keep making content and you have fun watching uh, what I make. Like I said at the beginning of the video if you haven't checked out Shutter, definitely worth it. Awesome fucking streaming service ran by some seemingly wonderful people and that constantly give independent directors the ability to have a voice and as a person who wants to be a filmmaker that is the most fucking important thing in the world because right now if you're not Disney or Marvel you're fucked. It, giving these independent filmmakers voices is one of the most important things in the world and I definitely th think more people should give streaming services like Shutter a chance. As always thanks again for watching guys I hope you have a great rest of your day.